Now let's take a little bit closer look at the types of software. So we discussed that there's mainly two different types of software. There's what I would call professional software and then the individual software. Both are good softwares to use, but they have different uses. Professional software, by that I mean that a CPA firm is going to be using that software for multiple different tax returns. Therefore, the incentive is to have the data input as easy, as clean, and efficient as possible so you can crank out multiple tax returns. Individual software, such as like a TurboTax, and I'm not, I'm not uh, affiliated or advertising either of these softwares. I happen to use LeCert, but I'm not affiliated to them or anything like that. Uh, TurboTax is owned by Intuit, which is a large company that owns QuickBooks as well. Uh, but there's a lot of other types of softwares, and we'll talk more about some possible free options that could be out there for uh, individual softwares in future presentations. I just want to make the general point that when you're practicing something or whatever your uses are, you want to be considering these two major buckets of software and then possibly narrow down your search from that point uh, to decide which software you want to be dealing with. So obviously, if you're just doing your individual tax return, then the individual tax software might be easier. It might be cheaper uh, to do. Uh, your options for an individual tax return are going to be, if you're just doing your own tax return, to do it by hand, which most people don't recommend these days because in part, the software has actually allowed the IRS to want more information. That's just how things go, right? So it used to be that the tax forms were quite simple. Uh, if I didn't have much income, I remember being able to just call in <laughs> at, at one point uh, because I had such basic uh, information that I can basically, it would be that easy to do. But as the information is more readily available through the use of software, the government wants more information. They want to be more intrusive. That's just how uh, things work. So now even a fairly basic tax return has a lot of informational information in it. And so you probably want tax software to basically help you out to do it. You might be able to get access to free tax software. We'll talk more about options on that uh, in a future presentation, if your income is below a, a certain threshold, but some software would be worthwhile to do. Your other option, of course, is to pay for a tax professional to help out uh, in that case, in which case they're going to be using software as well, but they're more likely going to be using the professional software. So we'll talk more about uh, that decision in a future presentation.